And so we can distinguish between dopamine, which is really about pleasure, and dopamine, which is really about motivation to pursue more in order to relieve or exclude future pain. Let me repeat that. Dopamine isn't as much about pleasure as much as it is about motivation and desire to pursue more in order to reduce the amount of pain. And we are now talking about pain as a psychological pain and a craving, although people that miss a lover very badly or that really crave a food very badly or that are addicted to a drug and can't access it will experience that as a physical craving and a mental craving. The body and brain are linked in this way. It's almost, they'll describe it as painful. They yearn for it. And I think the word yearning is one that's very valuable in this context because yearning seems to include a whole body experience more than just wanting, which could just be up in the mind. So your desire for something is proportional to how pleasurable it is to indulge in that thing, but also how much pain you experience when you don't have it. And you can now start to let your mind wander into all sorts of examples of addictions or things that you happen to like. Um, I'll use the example that I sometimes use on here, which is my love of croissants 